I live here. Eighth Man DVD. Cartoon Classics. Get a load of this, folks. It says here, a constant menace to pilots are the gremlins who wreck planes with their diabolical sabotage. <laughs> gremlins. <laughs> oh, murder. <laughs> gremlins. <laughs> what a fairy tale. <laughs> Little man, oh brother! <laughs> um, uh, uh, what's all the hubbub? Bub. Blockbuster bombs don't go off unless you hit them just right. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, hey, Matt. Let me take a whack at it. Where did he go, George? Which way did he go? Mm, that way. Well, gee, thanks a lot, George. Thanks a lot. What's the matter, Bunny Rabbit? Speak to me. Why don't you say something? I'm only three and a half years old. <laughs>
We ran out of gas. Yeah. You know how it is with these A-cards. Interpretation of a familiar fairy tale entitled The Big Bad Wolf and a Tree Little Pigs. Set to the delightful music of Johannes Brahms' Hungarian dances. As the scene opens, we find the Tree Little Pigs building their respective houses.
Chinese music was. <laughs> First, we will hear a waltz written by Johann Strauss. <laughs> and as we hear the rhythmic strains of the haunting we flain, listen to the whip-wing rhythm of the woodwinds as it rolls a wound and a wound, and it comes out here. <laughs> Wasn't that lovely? And now we will present the beautiful Blue Danube. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. 
$152.50. You will, of course, uh, pay the bill now before you leave, no? Uh, no, no, no. I mean, yes. Um, uh, my partner, Daffy Duck, will be re right back. He's out uh, he, uh, he, uh, cashing a check. Come on, seven. Be good to Daffy. Don't fail me now. Uh oh. Snake eyes. Too bad. You is a dead duck, duck. Don't worry, Daffy will be here in a minute with money. Well, um, I hope so. Huh? Insulting my integrity! Hey, Faxo! Insinuating I'd flee this flea bitten dump! Hey, Faxo! Intimating I'd abscound with your financial remunerations! Hey, Faxo! Hey, look! A Dick Tracy character! Prune face! You have insult me. We meet on the field of honor. My card. You've had your coffee racing for this week, Robespierre. You have insult me. We meet on the field of onion. Okay, we'll pay, we'll pay! 
how much was it? How much? <laughs> Sold to an American. <laughs> Pimento University. Pimento U. Good old P.U. Pimento U, oh sweet P.U. Thy fragrant odor scents the air. A pox on Yale, poo poo Purdue. Pimento U, my college fair. Oh, Out tea. and away, the most popular fellows at, uh... <clears throat> Out and away, the most popular fellows at old P.U. are the three Dover boys. Tom, the fun-loving member of the trio. Dick, a serious lad of 18 summers, plus a winter in Florida, as related in the Dover Boys in the Everglades, and uh, Larry, the youngest of the three jerks, uh, uh, brothers. A gay outing at the park has been planned by the merry trio, and they're off to fetch their fiancée, dainty Dora Standpipe, at Miss Cheddar's female academy close by. With their usual punctuality, 
The boys arrive at the pointed hour of three. soon on their rollicking way, forced to pass a certain public house, a tavern of unsavory repute, our young friends meet the distressing situation with their usual uncompromising moral fortitude. They know that even now, within this very tavern, Dan Backslide, the former sneak of Roquefort Hall, coward, bully, cad, and thief, and arch enemy of the Dover Boys, squanders his misspent life. Hark! The Dover Boys. Drat them. Double drat them. They are escorting Dora Standpipe. Dear rich Dora Standpipe, how I love her! Father's money. Confound those Dover boys! Oh, how I hate them! I hate Tom! I hate Dick! And I hate Larry! They drive me to drink! <laughs> Let us draw the curtain on this sordid scene and turn to more pleasant surroundings, where we find our young friends engaged in a spirited game of hide, go, and uh, seek. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. No, no! In here! No, up here, up here! No, no, over here, over here! Over here. In here. No, no, in here. No, in here. Over 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 here. A runabout. I'll steal it! No one will ever know! save her from this predicament? Will no one come to her assistance? But hold on. What's this? It looks like an alert young scout. 
And that's just what it is. He'll not fail her, I'll venture. Telegram for the Dover boys. Mrs. Tom, Dick, and Larry, care away with Tavern Upper Bottleneck, New York. Sirs, quote, help! Unquote. Signed, Dora. 35 cents collect. Chin held high, the stalwart sons of O.P.U. are here at hand to do or die. P.U. P.U., we're all for you. Yay, boom. Unhand her, Dan Backslide. Unhand her, Dan Backslide. Unhand her, Dan Backslide. Hey, we're getting in a rut. Stand up and fight, you coward, bully, cat, and thief. Oh, you haven't been thrashed enough yet, eh? And now it is time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Freddy Cat, this is only a tiny little bird. You mean a poor little dinsy wincy itsy bitsy defenseless boy? Yes. Let me at him! Let me at him! I'll get him, baby! Gangway! I'll moitalize him! Let me at him! Take it easy! Take I'll it easy! Show him. Where's he get that stuff? Don't hold me back! I'll get him! I'll show him! Come on, quit your fooling. Don't get up that ladder. Push me, Abbott! Don't push come on, me! Come on. I'm scared to go up high. I get hydrophobia. Oh, I don't want to come on. Don't push me. Oh, come on. Don't, you can't make me do it. You can't make me do it. <laughs> you can't make me do it. You can't make me do it. He do it. Come on, stupid. Get the bird. Oh. Give me the bird. Give me the bird. If the haze office would only let me, I'd give him the point, all right. under control. Don't push me down in a box, Babbitt. Please don't do it. Don't do it. Hey, Babbitt! Oh, Babbitt! Babbitt! What's the matter now? I'm afraid of the dark. Well, I'll let you out then. I thought I tore a putty tap. I did. I tore a putty tap. Cheap. 
Baba, I'm just no good. Oh, the brakes were against you. I'm a flopperoo. I can't even get the boy. Don't worry, you'll get it all right. You mean I'll get it in the end? Yeah, and you'll get a big bang out of it, too. Well, that sure takes a load off of my mind. Clowning. What's the matter with you? Aren't you ashamed? I don't know. Why do you do these things? I'm a bad pussycat. Oh, I just can't seem to get the boy. Ain't no use. Don't worry. I can't do it. This'll get you up there. Contact. 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 Contact.
a place, what a place. Why, it's as pretty as a picture. But if I ever told my favorite wife the awful truth, I'd land right on the front page. Yes, I read Bobby. Cigars, cigarettes, butts. Oh, hello, Gailey. Why, sure, I'll buy some of your cigarettes. You got a light, kid? Hello, Anne. How's the oomph girl tonight? Oomph, 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 oomph. Good evening, Mr. Wise Mola. Listen, you mugs, this job is plenty risky, get me? You gotta be tough guys to go through with it. Because if you get caught, you take the rap alone, see? Mm -hmm. All right, now let's try it. Listen, you mugs, one tie, all tie. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're all enjoying this little hoedown. Comes now a bit of the... Get away from me, boys, you bother me. Uh, comes now a bit of the dance. If you'll all gather around, Brother Stokowski will give out with the helping of that South American jive. La Conga, to be exact, so... Make it mellow, fella. Oh, Jimmy. That rhythm does something to me. Let's dance. Will you? Please? All, uh, uh, sir, it's not that I don't want to, you understand. It's, uh, it's on account of that. Oh, she was. I don't know any of these modern steps here. Oh, come on, Jimmy. Please. For me? Oh, sir, I, uh, uh, oh, heck, I guess I might as well try it. I'm gonna lose my... Feature attraction of the evening. Uh, keep moving, boys. I'll see you at the track. Here comes now the feature attraction of the evening, Miss Sally Strand and her bubble dance. Now, if you boys will put away your bean shooters, we'll get on with the show. I 
haven't seen such a beautiful bubble since I was a child. a few words, see? I've been chasing you all night. Now, how about a little kiss, baby? Well, fancy meeting you here.
as I bet you. Cool. I thought so. Put your hands up. You criminals are all alike. I can see it in your eyes. Just a stupid ignoramus. A numbskull. A nitwit. A nincom... A poor little sick billy goat. Hey, William, this'll fix you up. A sodium acetyl salicylate. Listen to it fizz. Provides <laughs> immediate relief from hypergasicity, banishes after dinner discomfort and loginess. <laughs> Say, this tin termite is a Nazi. A folk wolf in sheep's clothing. Uncle Dillingham duck. Did I cry spinach when I stood a duck on Plymouth Rock? Did I in Washington give up with their limp fortune hog? Did Dan O'Boone and me quite quits when Injun saved our scalp? Did John Paul Duck give up the ship or ever holler help? Hey, Daffy, Americans don't give up. No, Daffy, Americans. That's right. And I'm an American. Duck. Up there in the sky. It's a bird. No, it's a plane. No, it's Super American. McRoger, Airman First Class. That blissful smile on John's face is because John has reached the end of his first hitch, and John is getting out. He is now contemplating the advantages that all civilians take for granted, like a solid gold jagalack, a penthouse overlooking the river, a good job, and a beautiful wife. And to pinch to send home to me wife, poor wife, no cares have I to grieve me, no pretty little coil to deceive me. Uh -oh. Happy Here it comes, really the message. As we go rolling, hi Mac, rolling home. Name is Grogan, technical gremlin, voice class. Yeah, yeah, I know, and you're here to show me why I should re-enlist. 
about all the multitudinous advantages accruing to the re-enlistee. Look, Buster, I don't know what all the trick sarcasm is about, but I'm getting out of this man's Air Force. Capital O, capital U, capital T. Out! Hey, you getting out too? Wait, that's different. Let's pick up our discharge papers together, uh, buddy. Are you kidding? Why, the minute they start talking to you, you'll go all soft and sign up again. But I... Shut up. Sit down. Honest, I've been dreaming about getting out ever since I got in. All these guys are the same. Pushovers. Wild blue yonder pushovers. I don't know why I'm so soft-headed, but I guess I gotta brief this character so he won't be a patsy and get talked back in. <laughs> These G.I. magic wands, always fouled up. Later, later. Now then, the first thing they're gonna try to do they're gonna try to tell you how much better off you'll be staying in the Air Force. Okay, just for the record, let's take a look. That's you, and that's your re-enlistment paycheck. Airman voice class, four years service, 137 bucks and 59 cents a month. And this is what the average veteran of your age is earning in civilian life. 253 bucks and 47 cents. That's $115.88 more than you make, Mac. Why, that's an outrage. That's, that's... Of course, to be perfectly fair, the civilian does have to make uh, certain minor deductions from his paycheck that you don't. Uh, like food, lodging, clothes, higher income taxes, medical and dental bills, and life insurance. Uh, minor deductions like that there. Well, uh, it's only 197 bucks a month. Only. Another thing I uh, forgot to mention was that an airman can increase the size of his check by uh, seniority, advancement in rank, allowances, overseas duty, and flying duty, and as much as six times your monthly base pay for your first re-enlistment. But the civilian still makes more money! Sure, sure, and anyway, the money isn't the important thing, is it, Grogan? It's the job that counts. Brother, you are so right there. Today, we find John McRoger, apprentice trial fastwinder, happily at work. Hey, Mac, there you are. <laughs> Okay, so you're a little lonely. That's natural. Uh, too bad they don't have soybus clubs for civilians. But wow, look at them fancy duds. Nothing like pride in your appearance. <laughs> It just doesn't seem quite what I want to do. Look, pal, you can't back out now. Why, why now, uh, you take a retirement. Do you realize that as a civilian, you can look forward to retiring at the age of 65 with a cool 85 bucks coming in from Social Security every month? Yeah? Well, in the Air Force, I can retire when I'm 38 and draw down 137 bucks a month for the rest of my life. What are you, a has-been or something? Where do they get off retiring you at 38? It's an imposition. Some imposition? Okay, I decide I don't want to be imposed on. I decide I'm going to stay in another 10 years, till I'm 48. Then they really impose on you. $229 a month. And, and Grogan, I've already got four years done. Well, uh, you can retire on that kind of dough as a civilian, too. Oh, absolutely. All I gotta do is I gotta save up about 90,000 bucks and put it out at 3% interest. A cinch. 
All right, yeah, I know, I know. You save 60 bucks a week for 30 years. Okay, okay, so it's ridiculous. I'll admit there's a few good things about the Air Force. Like 30-day paid vacations. And medical expenses and a 10,000 buck insurance policy thrown in. And family allowances. And housing. And free education. <laughs> You know something else, Mac? Us guys in the Air Force know more than anybody else in the whole world how to keep these beautiful crates flying. Okay, okay, I've been briefed enough. Let's get going. Yeah, I guess we both know what you want to do now. Right? Right. Look, Buster, if you think you can get by in the Air Force without me, you got yourself another thing coming. Sam. Take a look at today's timetable. Only one of these trains can get through to Washington. 44 is a single track, you know. Yeah, but Sam, aren't the American people on board the Win the War special? Well, all but a few wreckers. You see that switch, Joe? You've got to sidetrack the defeatist limited. I'm just the guy that can do it, Sam. Look, Joe, you can, if you don't fall asleep at the switch like you did in November of 1942. Asleep! Don't worry about me. They'll have to knock me out first. <laughs>
What happened? Who are you? Not at all, not at all. Glad you dropped in, my boy. Glad you dropped in. But you're looking a bit peaked, Joe. S.A. Driver Sam's been overworking you. You'll run down. High production pressure. Relax now. Relax. Oh. Have a cigar. Oh. Let's talk this over, my boy. According to the papers, you're on the wrong track. It says here that the Win the War special isn't going through. All the workers are on strike. That's a lie. We're out to win the war. War, war! I tell you, this is rules about war! Buddy, after all, Joe, business is entitled to a fair profit during this war. But wages have to be frozen, Joe. The workers are making too much money for their own good. And prices haven't risen very much. Have they? You watch my smoke for a change. No, wait. I have influence in Washington. This is treason. This is for Uncle Sam.
gotta get out and vote. To get the thing for fighting for, fighting for, fighting for, to get the thing for fighting for, we gotta get out and vote. the burning and the Rome front. The fellow with the bullet is depending on the fellow with the ballot on the home front. Oh, we want to have a better world, better world, better world. Want to have a better world, we gotta get out and vote. Marketing facilities, fair price for what a man grows. Gotta get out and vote. Big business. All aboard for $200 billion national income. Full production, world trade. But no pushing and no crowding. Small business. Protection from big business. Gotta get out and vote. Labor. Job for everyone. Full employment, full production. Annual wage. Good housing. Social insurance. Security in your old age. All aboard! All aboard! There'll be a job for everyone, everyone, everyone. There'll be a job for everyone to bring it out and vote. You want to have security, security, security. Want to have security, you got to get out and vote. They're growing big red apples that Hoover is promoting. If you don't want to sell those apples, start voting, man, start voting. Oh, get behind the president, president, president. Get behind the president, we want to win the war. Right behind the president, oh, get behind the president, behind the president. Music lovers. <laughs> First, we will hear a waltz written by Johann Strauss. <laughs> and as we hear the rhythmic strains of the haunting we flain, 
Listen to the whip-wing rhythm of the woodwinds as it rolls a wound and a wound, and it comes out here. <laughs> Wasn't that lovely? And now we will present the beautiful Blue Danube. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. 
What's the rush? I'm not going to hurt you. Look what I've got for you. Later. Listen, you can have all the cheese you want if you cut the better. Now get going! Oh, that catty done told me out there in the kitchen. That catty done told you what? Oh, he's come here to save us and not to enslave us. That cat's a rat just the same. Oh, no, kids. That the cat, cat is a two-face. A treacherous thing who leave us to sing the blues in the night. Please take my advice and don't be naughty mice. Appease him or he'll get offended. Ah! He wants to protect us from the ones who wrecked us. Please hear him. He wants to protect us. Oh, that's what I've been saying. Gee, that'd be fine. Now then hurry and sign a truce and go fight. Wanted something? 
Uh, but you didn't know what it was? Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, sure. Uh, I always get that feeling, too. I know. I want a nice, fat, tender mouse. Yes, sir, one nice, fat, tender mouse. <laughs> Look at them run. <laughs> mm. You're a nice, fat, tender mouse. You'll do. See? And remember, above all, to add an obituary jibbo, reckon I'm Fosco, Fanny, Schnipper, and L on a filigadusha. You got that? Okay. you don't get one cent if you harm any animals, especially weapons. 
you're free now, little rabbit. Go and womp and frolic in the forest. Oh boy, I'm rich. Okay, fellas, break it up, break it up. Three million dollars. <laughs> Angel in the sky. Come on out or I'll blow your head off. <laughs> I'm just an angel in disguise. Please, Mr. Wabbit, go on back to the forest where you belong. Be a nice with the wabbit. Ooh, ouch, ouch! Hey, what are you trying to do? Kill me? Are you fracture my skull? I'm gonna call Uncle Louie. That's what I'm gonna do. Operator, operator! Hey, you got a nickel? Hello, operator, operator! Give me walnut tree, tree, tree. Oh, that's you, Mert? How's every little thing? Please, Mr. Wabbit, don't call Uncle Wooey. I won't hurt you again. I promise. Well, okay, but watch your step after this, fat boy. Hey, what do you got to eat around this joint? Eat? Eat? I'll fix this guy. Fate he'll twig me, huh? Step right this way. That'll fix him. <laughs> Why the dirty double crosser? Open up! <coughs> hey, I'm getting pneumonia! <coughs> Open up! I'll die! I'll die! No! I'm too young to die! Please! Please let me in! This scene ought to get me the Academy Award. <clears throat> Say goodbye to Uncle Louie for me. Oh. Uncle Louie? What have I done? We million dollars all shot to pieces. Don't die with the rabbit. <laughs> Please don't die. Walk a bye, baby, on a when a wind blows your cradle. Come on, that stuff. Swing it. Walk a bye, baby, on the tweet top. When the wind blows, the cradle will walk. When the bow wakes, the cradle will fall. Down will come, baby. Special delivery. Your Uncle Willie has kicked the bucket. You now inherit three million dollars. Inheritance tax, two million defense tax, paycheck county veneer, which leaves you owing us one dollar and ninety-eight cents. Please remit. You don't get the dough, eh, Butterball? No, but I'm gonna get you. Yeah. <laughs> Well...
Yipe again! Don't go down there. It's dark. Ten minutes to catch my plane. Hold everything, Fasso! If 
even though you're only make me living, laugh, Clara, laugh. <laughs> I'm a cowboy, yes sir I am. Yes sir I am a cowboy, yes sir I am. I'm a cowboy, yes sir I am. Yes sir I am a cowboy. Or the land and the sea are ready to fly, and where the duty calls, ready to fight to be free. <laughs> You're just an angel in disguise, holding uh, down from up above. <laughs> Over hill and over dale, we're always on the dusty trail. Hunting fox and hunting quail, tally-ho! I am a hunting fool, giddy-up, giddy-up, giddy-up! My heart's a nigh, you're of the finest breed, giddy-up, giddy-up, giddy-up! Just like the wind, I ride my sword, giddy! Sure of foot, sure of eye, peeling onions makes me cry, this makes no sense, so do I! So don't you go and beat me, Daddy Coop's the nearest bar! Yeah! And now the kid goes into a finale! And what a finale! <laughs> All right, uh, li uh, let's see what the kid can do. Okay, Sleepy, do your stuff. Let's bring time blossoms bloom again. In the garden Watch 
for the hubbub. Bub. These blockbuster bombs don't go off unless you hit them just right. Yeah? Yeah. Where did he go, George? Which way did he go? Mm, that way. Well, gee, thanks a lot, George. Thanks a lot. What's the matter, Bunny Rabbit? Speak to me. Why don't you say something? I'm only three and a half years old. <laughs> Thank you. 
folks. We ran out of gas. Yeah, you know how it is with these A-cards. It's the sign of the old world over. It's the poor what gets the blame. While the rich is all the gravy. Now ain't that a blinking shame? Put out those lights! Schultz! <laughs> When you hear the turn, it will be exactly 6.45 and one quarter. Schultz? Six 6.45 and one quarter. Mm. May I present you with this little token of our esteem? For me? Danke schön, danke schön. Oh, uh, just a little going away present. Well, see you around. Ha <laughs> ha 
Könntest du es sein, dieser Telefon ist Bessie? Bleiben Sie ruhig. Bitte, mein Herr, haben Sie einen Feinfennig-Stick? Dankeschön. It's all yours, Von Limburger. Out of carrots.
And now from the empty heart, I will press to get you, uh, press to get, press to target, uh, pr uh, pull a live rabbit. Yes. <laughs> Ruta, vuta, zut. And observe. A rabbit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
I feel well to to present our interpretation of a familiar fairy tale entitled The Big Bad Wolf and a Tree Little Pigs. Set to the delightful music of Johannes Brahms' Hungarian dances. As the scene opens, we find the three little pigs building their respective houses.
couldn't hit the broad side of a duck. Ah! They got me! Oh! 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 Yipe! Get him, Wowie Moore! We tweave him! We tweave him! Take it easy, Rover! That's no way to retrieve a duck! Look! <laughs> Like, see, Laramore? Hello. Sorry I had to plug you, Mr. Duck, but I'm a sportsman. A great, great sportsman. <laughs> a great sportsman, eh? <laughs> Listen, sport, you don't know the meaning of fair play. What chance has a poor, helpless, fluffy, little winged creature like me against you? You with your bullets and your shotgun and your knife and your dick call and your hunting coat and your hunting dog and all kind of stuff like that there. What protection have I got? A bulletproof vest, I suppose. <laughs> How does that get there? How'd you like to meet me in a fair fight, Mr. Sport? All things being equal, man to man, Marquise of Queensbury rules. Huh? <laughs> that's different, eh? Yeah, that's something else again. Yeah, you don't like that, do you, sportsman? No. Yeah, yeah, you don't like it. Uh, uh. In that corner. <laughs> In that corner. <laughs> He's a dog. <laughs> oh, you can have him. <laughs> what a tramp. <laughs> That outstanding exponent of clean sportsmanship, the champion of champions, your friend and mine, our own, our beloved Daffy, good to his mother, Duck. <laughs> Something awfully screwy about this fight, or my name isn't Larimore, and it isn't. You got him, punchy champ. He's practically a dead duck already. Now get in there, fight. Go on in there, knock him out. Give it to him, champ. Let him have it, champ. Hmm, getting a little thin on top. How about a little something to stimulate the scalp? Now shake hands. Which hand do you take? Mm, uh, that one. Nope. Wrong. Guess again. All right, all right. 
I'll take that over there. <laughs> Ain't he a dope? You sure this is the one you want? <laughs> You're right! <laughs> the right one! And here's round one coming up. One, three, nine, ten, you're out! The winner and new champion, Daffy Duck! I'm not the one to complain, Mr. Weffoey, but I thought you said no Wuff stuff. None of this, or this, or this, or like so, or this, or this, or this. Ha! 
Pardon me, Doc, but, uh, did you lose it? Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Nothing. Well, I got one here. You chubby little rascal. Come out, Mr. Wabbit. I have a little surprise for you. I bet plenty of you men wear one of these. That's the West War. I'll get that wabbit. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc, where are you? Gee, 
am I hungry? I could eat a saber-toothed tiger. Well, anyway, half a one. Well, this isn't getting me breakfast. Here, Fido. Well, the eggs. Now, come on, I'm famished. Well, I'll bet you're cranky before breakfast, too. Be quiet! Mm. Yum, yummy. My favorite vegetable, duck. like he's crazy. That is correct. Absolutely 100% correct. So that's the way it is, eh? All right, then. Fine thing. No swimming. Other cavemen get to go swimming, but I never get to do anything. Well, what are you looking at? Don't just stand there. Do something. Now, go get it. The big lummox. Well, now, isn't that clever? The hunter's helper. <laughs> now, come on. for a guy that never took a lesson in his life. <laughs> Wait here. Wait, come on, Fido.
we're almost there. such a hot idea after all. Good night, folks. you don't get one cent if you harm any animals, especially wabbits. You're free now with the wabbit. Go and womp and frolic in the forest. Oh, boy, I'm witch. Okay, fellas, break it up, break it up. Three million dollars. <sighs> La da 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 I'm just an angel in disguise. La da 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 Please, Mr. Wabbit, go on back to the forest where you belong. Be a nice with the wabbit. Ooh, ouch, ouch! Hey, what are you trying to do, kill me? Are you fracture my skull? I'm gonna call her Louie, that's what I'm gonna do. Operator, operator! Hey, you got a nickel? Hello, operator, operator. Give me walnut tree, tree, tree. 
Oh, that's you, Mert? How's every little thing? Please, Mr. Wabbit, don't call Uncle Wooey. I won't hurt you again, I promise. Well, okay, but watch your step after this, fat boy. Hey, what do you got to eat around this joint? Eat? Eat? I'll fix this guy. Fate he'll twig me, huh? Step right this way. That'll fix him. <laughs> Wipe that dirty double crosser. Tax two million defense tax per check county veneer, which leaves you owing us one dollar and ninety eight cents. Please, we mint. You don't get the dough, eh, Butterball? No, but I'm gonna get you. Yeah. <laughs> child again, just for tonight. And between these covers, we find these immortal favorites. Sleeping Beauty. 
Remember the lovely princess who was bewitched into a deep slumber until her Prince Charming came to break the spell? boy who got his name because he was no bigger than a man's thumb. Let's pay this interesting family a visit. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Thumb. Where's little Tom? Are you Tom Thumb? Uh, 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 yeah, that's me. <laughs> Why, I thought you were no bigger than a man's thumb. How did you get so big? Uh, vitamin B1. <laughs> the Grasshopper and the Ant. The story of the industrious little ant and the lazy grasshopper. two-headed giant who forced Jack to run for his life. of his day. By means of a disguise, he preyed upon unsuspecting little sheep. gave us the story of Aladdin and his wonderful lamp. All Aladdin had to do was to rub the lamp and presto, the genie appeared. I dream of genie with light brown hair. kid again. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> hey, young fella. You're going to yell wolf once too often. Hey, go on, go on. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. Can a guy have a little fun? A session in the woodshed wouldn't do that boy any harm. 
And here's a bird you wouldn't mind having in your own home. A goose that lays golden eggs. Hey, wait a minute. You're supposed to lay golden eggs. Not anymore, brother. I'm doing my bit for national defense. Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to get her poor dog a bone. This little nursery rhyme. This little piggy <laughs> went for to market. This little piggy has gone for to stay home. This little piggy has have rush beef and smash potatoes. And this poor little piggy, he don't have anything, all kinds of things to eat. And this little piggy has for to cry like anything. Wee, wee, wee. All the way. For crying out, pit sack, mother! Be careful! My corn! Cinderella and her glass slipper. The little girl Whoa! who... Whoa! Help! Help somebody! Help! Uh-uh. Oh. He's at it again. Whoa! Whoa! Help! Help the wolf! It's a the sign of the old world over. It's the poor what gets a the blame. While the rich is all the gravy. Now ain't that a blinking shame? Put out those lights! Schultz! <laughs> Thank you. 
When you hear the tone, it will be exactly 6.45 and one quarter. Schultz? Forty-five and one quarter. Mm. May I present you with this little token of our esteem? For me? Donkey Shane, Donkey Shane. Oh, uh, just a little going away present. Well, see you around. Ten minutes to catch my plane. Hold everything, Faso! This is your lucky day. A 
opportunity is nothing. Yeah, let me see what I've got a, a, a very important appointment. I'll say you have. My card. Yes, sir. Daffy Duck, personal representative of the most sensational discovery since the Sweater Girl. He's colossal, stupendous. One might even go so far as to say he's mediocre. I give you that paragon of pep and personality, Sleepy Lagoon. a packed house. The kid's on. The orchestra gives them a four-bar vamp, and the kid gives it to him like this. I'm just wild about Harry, and Harry's wild about me. My, the heavenly blisses of his kisses fills me with ecstasy. That's just a rough idea, you understand. He's the sweetest chocolate candy, and just like honey from a bee. Oh, I'm just wild about Harry, and he's wild about Ken. I do without he is from the south. Can't you hear me shout? Talking with my mouth, could you ever tell? He's just wild about me. <laughs> the kid finishes mid thunderous applause. Hooray! Hey! He takes a bow. They're screaming for an encore. Encore! Give us more. We want more. Let's have more. Give us more. Give us more. Give us more. Ah, but does the kid give him another song? No. He makes with a band. Solo, like so. <laughs> Just a minute, Chubby. You ain't seen half of the kids' repertory. Well, here's one the kid does that you like. Woohoo! Over hill and over dale, we're always on the dusty trail. Hunting foxes, hunting quails, I oh, I am hunting full. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, my horse and I are of the finest breed. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, just like the wind, I ride my forward speed. Sure of foot, sure of eye, feeling onions makes me cry, this makes no sense, so do I. So don't you go and beat me, daddy, to the nearest bar. Yeah! And now the kid goes into his finale. And what a finale! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! All right, let's see what the kid can do. Okay, Sleepy, do your stuff. <laughs> Let's bring 
springtime blossoms bloom again in the garden.
couldn't hit the broad side of a duck. I had to plug you, Mr. Duck, but I'm a sportsman. A great, great sportsman. <laughs> a great sportsman, eh? Sportsman. Listen, sport, you don't know the meaning of fair play. What chance has a poor, helpless, fluffy, little winged creature like me against you? You with your bullets, and your shotgun, and your knife, and your dip call, and your hunting coat, and your hunting dog, and all kind of stuff like that there! What protection have I got? A bulletproof vest, I suppose! <laughs> How does that get there? How'd you like to meet me in a fair fight, Mr. Sport? All things being equal, man to man, Marquise of Queensbury rules. Huh? <laughs> that's different, eh? Yeah, that's something else again. Yeah, you don't like that, do you, sportsman? No. <laughs> you don't like it. Huh? <laughs> like it. Ladies and gentle ducks. In that corner. <laughs> In that corner. <laughs> He's a dog. <laughs> you can have him. <laughs> what a tramp. <laughs> Outstanding exponent of clean sportsmanship, the champion of champions, your friend and mine, our own, our beloved Daffy, good to his mother, Duck. <laughs> Yeah, 
you mean uh, none of this? Or this? Or like so? Or this? Or this? Or this? <laughs> or this? Or this? Huh? How about a little of this? Absolutely, uh-uh. You know, there's something awfully screwy about this fight. Or my name isn't Larimore. And it isn't. You got him punchy, champ. He's practically a dead duck already. Now get in there, Slate. Go on in there and knock him out. Give it to him, champ. Let him have it, champ. Hmm, getting a little sin on top. How about a little something to stimulate the scalp? Now shake hands. Which hand do you take? Mm, uh... That one. Nope. Wrong. Guess again. All right, all right. I'll take that over there. <laughs> Ain't he a dope? You sure this is the one you want? <laughs> You're right! The right one! And here's round one coming up. One, three, nine, ten, you're out! The winner and new champion, Daffy Duck! Not the one to complain, Mr. Wefferee, but I thought you said no woof stuff. None of this, or this, or this, or like so, or this, or this, or this. That's all, folks. What's the rush? I'm not going to hurt you. Look what I've got for you. <laughs> Later. Listen, you can have all the cheese you want if you cut this Okay. There. 
Uh, that's better. Now get going! Oh, that cat he done told me out there in the kitchen. That cat he done told you what? Oh, he's come here to save us and not to enslave us. That cat's a rat just the same. Oh, no, kids. That a cat is a two-face. A judge or a single leave us to sing the blues in the night. Please take my advice and don't be naughty mice. Appease him or, or he'll get offended. <laughs> wants to protect us from the ones who wrecked us. Please hear me. He wants to protect us. Oh, that's what I've been saying. Gee, that'd be fine. Now then hurry and sign a truce and go fight. have a feeling that you uh, wanted something, uh, but you didn't know what it was? Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, sure. Uh, I always get that feeling, too. I know. I want a nice, fat, tender mouse. Yes, sir, one nice, fat, tender mouse. Mouse! <laughs> See? And remember, above all, to add an obadera jibbo, reckon I'm Fosco, fanny snipper at all on a filigadusha. You got that? Okay.
Hey, get a load of this, folks. It says here, a constant menace to pilots are the gremlins who wreck planes with their diabolical sabotage. <laughs> gremlins. <laughs> oh, murder. <laughs> gremlins. <laughs> what a fairy tale. <laughs> Little man, oh brother! <laughs> um, uh, uh, what's all the hubbub? Bub. These blockbuster bombs don't go off unless you hit them just right. Yeah? Yeah. Where did he go, George? Which way did he go? Mm, that way. Well, gee, thanks a lot, George. Thanks a lot.
happy barnyard some years ago, a seemingly unimportant event occurred which was destined to vitally affect the future of that little world. Mr. and Mrs. Duck were expecting. <laughs> Mama, what is lost? What's this, a dark horse? <laughs> and so time passed. Hey, bud, not so fast. Oh, all right. But time does fly, don't it, Johnny? <clears throat> time passed. The bad egg grew to, ma to duckhood and with artistic aspirations dreamed of brush and palette, but ended up with only the brush. They don't know art. His artistic efforts spurned, he soon turned to other endeavors. Und vergess nicht, you dopes! Ich bin der aufgeblosente Fresh in Deutschland, in all Europa, ja, in der ganzen Welt. My mama done told me, say heil. And there were some gullible ones who listened. Wir müssen lieber verhaben, wir sollen ihn haben. Especially one goose, more gullible than gooses. Goose, goose, go, geese, mice, mice, go, geese, usually go. That's all right. Uh, that's the old stuff, kiddo. He's a smart fellow with brains, huh? Like me. Sikhail! 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 Sikhail, boy! I'm from South Germany. I'm a sick Heiler, too. The commands are gone down. Say, tot the nova dice! Tot the frotti, tot the frotti, and all kinds of whips of cream and a wall of nuts! of peace from off this place. Have they forgot tis love that's right and not is gained by show of might? From out of the West came another partner to make a silly axis of himself. I, a Japanese, a sap, a man, sneaking on with a do. Just a Japanese, a sap, a man, I'm a little crazy too. Oh, just a minute, Prita. Oh, I am not a Japanese son of gun. Yeah, and I'm Mock Turtle Soup. With spreading clouds of war, once more the Axis marched toward dreams of further conquest. One, two, button of my shoe. Three, four, shut down a robot door. Five, six, see 
Come up with the sticks. Seven, eight. A red on a straight. Nine, ten. Begin again. Mercy me, regretful sight. Oh, branch of peace. Forestall this fight. Kind sirs, change your warlike. and say, there's three that didn't get away. Pimento University. Pimento U. Good old P.U. Pimento U, oh sweet P.U. Thy fragrant odor scents the air. A pox on Yale, poo poo Purdue. Pimento U, my college fair. Oh, Out and away, the most popular fellows at, uh... <clears throat> Out and away, the most popular fellows at old P.U. are the three Dover boys. Tom, the fun-loving member of the trio. Dick, a serious lad of 18 summers, plus a winter in Florida, as related in the Dover Boys in the Everglades, and uh, Larry, the youngest of the three jerks, uh, uh, brothers. A gay outing at the park has been planned by the merry trio, and they are off to fetch their fiancée, dainty Dora Standpipe, at Miss Cheddar's female academy close by. With their usual punctuality, the boys arrive at the pointed hour of three. soon on their rollicking way. Forced to pass a certain public house, a tavern of unsavory repute, our young friends meet the distressing situation with their usual uncompromising moral fortitude. Little do they know that even now, within this very tavern, Dan Backslide, the former sneak of Roquefort Hall, coward, bully, cad, and thief, and arch enemy of the Dover Boys, 
wonders his misspent life. Hark, the Dover boys. Drat them. Double drat them. They are escorting Dora Standpipe. Dear rich Dora Standpipe, how I love her! Father's money. Confound those Dover boys! Oh, how I hate them! I hate Tom! I hate Dick! And I hate Larry! They drive me to drink! Confound them. Let us draw the curtain on this sordid scene and turn to more pleasant surroundings, where we find our young friends engaged in a spirited game of hide, go, and uh, seek. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. No, no! In here! No, up here, up here! No, no, over here, over here! Over here. In here. No, no, in here. No, in here. Over 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 here. A runabout. I'll steal it! No one will ever know! save her from this predicament? Will no one come to her assistance? But hold on. What's this? It looks like an alert young scout. And that's just what it is. He'll not fail her, I'll venture. Telegram for the Dover boys. Mrs. Tom, Dick, and Larry care away with having up a bottleneck, New York. Sirs, quote. Help! Unquote. Signed Dora. 35 cents collect.
sweet Dora dear, keep courage up and chin held high. The stalwart sons of OPU are here at hand to do or die. P.U. P.U., we're all for you. Yay, boom. Unhand her, Dan Backslide. Unhand her, Dan Backslide. Unhand her, Dan Backslide. Hey, we're getting in a rut. Stand up and fight, you coward, bully, cat, and thief. Oh, you haven't been thrashed enough yet, eh? And now it is time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Interpretation of a familiar fairy tale entitled The Big Bad Wolf and a Tree Little Pigs. Set to the delightful music of Johannes Brahms' Hungarian dances. As the scene opens, we find the Tree Little Pigs building their respective houses.
Ben Arms, uh, Babik Bell, room uh, $365, uh, Babik Bath, uh, round seven, uh, and in the funeral, uh, $10.50, uh, uh, total $152.50. You will, of course, uh, pay the bill now before you leave, no? Uh, no, I mean, yes. Um, uh, my partner, Daffy Duck, will be re right back. He's out uh, he, uh, he, uh, cashing a check. Come on, seven. Be good to Daffy. Don't fail me now. Uh-oh. Snake eyes. Too bad. You is a dead duck. Duck. Well, um, I hope so. Huh? Insulting my integrity! Hey, fatso! Insinuating I flee this flea bitten dump! Hey, fatso! Intimating I'd abscound with your financial remuneration! Hey, look! A Dick Tracy character! Prune face! You have insult me! We meet on the field of honor! Racing for this week, Robespierre. You have insult me. We meet on the field of onion.
black as a sheet. Uh, gosh, if uh, uh, Bugs Bunny was only here. Yeah, Bugs Bunny, my hero. He can get out of anything. But I saw him in a Le Leon Schlesinger cartoon once. The hunter had him covered. And he, uh, he, uh, he uh, grabbed the gun. And bang! The hunter fell. What a guy. Nothing can hold him. He'll get us out of here. Hello, Central. Give me Bugs Bunny. Hello, Bugs. This is Daffy. Uh, what's up, Duck? That Palooka manager has got us locked up in the Broken Arms Hotel. We thought you could help us get out. Uh, did you try the elevator? Yes. And uh, tow him down the stairs? Yes. Use the sheet? Yes. Swing across on the rope? Yes. We tried all those ways. Ah! Don't work, do they? That's all, folks. presents many interesting sights. This show horse is the pride of the farm and the winner of many blue ribbons. He is trained to perform in every game. First, let's see you do a trot. Now the gallop. That's fine. Now do a canter. Oh, I'm happy about the whole thing. The way that you walk, the way that you talk. Hey, hey. That's enough of that. Here we find the farmer's faithful old watchdog. Though he is no longer very active, he still does a few little odd jobs around the house. One of his chores is to fetch the newspaper. Oh, there's the paper now. <laughs> I can hardly wait to see what happened to Dick Tracy. Here is a group of cute little piggies playing in the mud. Well, what are they up to? They seem fascinated by that clock. Oh, well. Here's a proud mother hen, carefully watching over her eggs, anxiously awaiting the eventful day. What a happy little family this will be. What's this? A weasel, the ruthless thief of the barnyard watching his chance to sneak in and steal those defenseless little eggs. He draws closer and closer and closer. trees, we find many species of bird life. The birds always... Oh, look up there. No, no, over to the left. See? A little owl nestling inside the tree trunk. an interesting sight. A young couple laboriously building their nest with a bit of string from here and a piece of straw from there. A little twig, a bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, a bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, bit of string, piece of straw, little twig, string, straw, string, string, draw, twig, string, draw, twig, string, draw, twig. At 
the edge of the woods, field mice make their home. Here we see one of the most common types. Say, he seems to be a bit worried. Tell me, little fellow, what seems to be troubling you? I don't know, Doc. I... I just keep hearing things. Even the tiniest of insects, such as the ants, have a language all their own. Emerging from the opening comes a female of the species. If you listen very closely, you can hear her calling to her young. Henry! Coming, Mother! The modern farm is conducted on a business like... Well, here are those little piggies again. Say, piggies, why don't you go off and play? Well, suit yourself. Here is one of the strangest friendships that has ever been known. Natural enemies, yet living together as friends. A cat and a mouse. Tell me, is it true that the cat takes good care of you? And keeps you nice and warm? Well, that's truly a friendship. Now, before we leave you, is there anything that you would like to say to your friends in the audience? Get me out of here! <laughs> and so, as the day draws to a close, and the sun sinks slowly in the west, we reluctantly take our leave of the farm. Well, the piggies again. Are they going to stay there all night? What in the world can the attraction be? Dinner time! <laughs> Good morning. Wake up, everybody. Wake up, everybody. Have you had your tasty toasties this morning? Good for you. And now from... Uh, 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 don't touch that dial. 
And now for our morning exercises. Open those windows, take a deep breath. Look like this? Yeah, yeah, uh, that's him. No, I have not seen him. Just my little old heart. I knew it! 
join the army for a day and get a glimpse of military life. Here we are at Fort Nix, typical of the many training camps throughout the country. Coaching, please. Uh, now, no, don't tell me. Uh, uh, four, yeah, yeah, four. <laughs> That's right. Now, do you want to try for the thirty-two dollar question? Well, uh, I don't know. I. Uh... You'll be sorry. Uh, uh, no, no, no uh, I better take the sixteen dollars. I better. Sweet music to the ears of all soldiers is the mess call or come and get it. <laughs> And so their appetites appease, the army is ready to carry out the orders of the day. One of the most colorful sights is the well-trained cavalry as it goes through its daily drills. Company, attention! Mark, tight! Right, face! Infantry is the backbone of the army. Marching mile after mile is a matter of routine for these hardy foot soldiers. Following close behind, the camouflage troops. The artillery tries out one of its new guns.
In contrast to the mechanized equipment used by the soldiers of today, early conscriptees were trained with makeshift substitutes. Here are a few examples. The machine gun unit. Bang! 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 The tank core. The parachute troops. The Army Air Corps has proven a vital link in our military chain. During maneuvers, pursuit planes engage each other in aerial games. Division in the midst of its daily target practice. The largest guns of the Army are those of the Coast Defense. Directions for firing these huge monsters originate at Army headquarters, many miles behind the lines. Elevation, 45 degrees. Direction, 30 degrees north by east. Elevation, 45 degrees. Direction, 30 degrees north by east. Elevation, 45 degrees. Direction, 30 degrees north by east. Longitude, 36 degrees. Latitude, 58. Longitude, 36 degrees. Latitude, 58. Longitude, 36 degrees. Latitude, 58. Ready. 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 Fire. 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 I'm a bad general.
island. You're an ah, a hot terror. Ute tare, me no roha. Otoraha, me no matai wahine. Me. You know, oh. Well, thanks. Gee, did you say that? Darn, if I hook the bar, I want to see the way of me. You had to be a seat though here, and not so much of a year away. Told him an artist, 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 told him an artist. Please. 
What's the matter, Freddy Cat? This is only a tiny little bird. You mean a poor little thinsy wincy itsy bitsy defenseless boy? Yes. Let me at him! Let me at him! I'll get him, baby! Gang, we are my lies, Let me at him! Take it easy, take oh, it sure easy. I'll show him. Where's he get that stuff? Don't hold me back. I'll get him. I'll show him. Come on, quit your fooling. Don't get up that ladder. Push me, Abbott. Don't come push on, me. Come on. I'm scared to go up high. I get high. Trophobia? No, oh, I don't want to come, come on. Go. Oh, don't push me. Oh, come on. Don't. You can't make me do it. You can't make me do it. <laughs> he do it. Come on, stupid. Get the bird. Oh. Give me the bird. Give me the bird. If the Hayes office would only let me, I'd give him the point, all right. Under control. Don't push me down in a box, Babbitt. Please don't do it. Don't do it. Hey, Babbitt! Oh, Babbitt! Babbitt! What's the matter now? I'm afraid of the dark. Well, I'll let you out then. I thought I tore a putty tab. I did. I tore a putty tab. You're clowning. What's the matter with you? Aren't you ashamed? I don't know. Why do you do these things? I'm a bad pussycat. Oh, I just can't seem to get the boy. Keep no use. Don't worry. I can't do it. This'll get you up there. Contact. 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 I'm not 
unidentified object flying around my little head. Is there an insurance salesman in the house? Old King Cole, 
I'm a merry old soul. But he waved his scepter with a swing. Here is a man who never fooled around, but daily he mixed with the team. They call for Mr. Christian, and what's on a mute today? All King Cole is a noisy old soul. Because he had his swing, and because he liked to swing, I went down in history. So perhaps there's a chance for me. Have you got any castles that you want to fill, baby? Such a lack of good manners, you should swallow my book, Henry. I'll get out my scissors that cut. Have you got any mortgages you want to have paid, baby? <laughs> with the memories of the bookland frolic. All is well. All is well. Come on now, you want to a west. 
Assault and battery, trespassing, disturbing the peace, miscellaneous misdemeanors, public nuisance, traffic violations, going through a boulevard stop, jaywalking, triple parking, conduct unbecoming to a wabbit, nice looking chap, oh. violating traffic regulations. Tension! Why, look at you. You call yourself a Maori. You're a disgrace to the regiment. I'm gonna drum you out of the service. <laughs> for a wet. <laughs> Come on, buck up. Don't cry. I'll give myself up. Here, take me in. You really mean it? It's not another twig. No, go ahead, snap him on. Okay, Doc, let's go. Ready, Mr. Wabbit? 
Yeah, go ahead, Doc. I'm ready. Before you die, you can make one last wish. Yeah? Well, uh, let's see now. Um, I wish, um... I wish, um... I wish I was in Dixie. Hooray! Hooray! Oh, the camp always sing sings this song. Do that, do that. The camp always back from along. Fantastic, isn't it? Wine to run all night. Wine to run all day. I'll bet my money on a pop tonight. Somebody there on the bed.
well. <laughs> Say your prayers, rabbit. Now, 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 wait a minute, Doc. Relax. Now, now, now hold it a minute. Y'all got there, man. It couldn't be a pair of a dimmer. Your poor bitch, Doc. Your greatest. Let him go. Seven <laughs> dice natural again, Doc. Come on and be bad, guys. Be bad. Fox cars, pal. Here we go again. Four, six, three, nine, six, three, nine. That's my point. Oh, no, nine, guys. No, nine. What's the matter with me? Maybe it's a new pair of shoes. Guys, don't fail me now. <laughs> well, uh, sorry, Doc. That's gonna catch me every <laughs> Well, call me Adam.
didn't expect to see me again. Eh, Svengali? Go away, please, you dumb rabbit's bunny. You are for to ruin my act. Wrong, Doc. I'm gonna help you. Uh, let's see now. Uh, you was trying to press the Gucci gate, uh, pre press the dance, uh, uh, pr uh, press the, uh, uh, pull a rabbit out of the hat. Regarde.
Poison kid. Uh, uh. What would you like to have to eat? Some soup or consomme. Our chowder's good today. A tea bone bordelais. What is your order? You love our new green peas, our shrimp and cheddar cheese, and sherry if you please. A dear border. To try our bologna, a slice of salami, some vitamins A, B. Just place your order. We have a candy yam, a moving picture ham, our short ribs of spring lamb, our shorter. Of buttered buns we boast, to try our free French toast, an orange sherbet roast, give us your order. And with that tucked away, you'll know that that ain't hay. That ain't hay, brother. 
Shining bright down in Rio de Janeiro. Boom, ti boom, boom, ti boom, ah, ti boom, boom, ti boom, 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 boom. See, I like the South American way, and I do mean South. one of the country's most interesting zoos. Here we find the wolf in his natural setting. Next, a pack of camels. A North American greyhound. Here, two bucks and five cents. And here, two friendly elves. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. No zoo would be complete without a monkey cave. <laughs> nature's own weatherman, the little groundhog, and his shadow. Over here, we find... <laughs> hey, there, sir. hey, hey, don't annoy that sign. It's dangerous. Can't you read that sign? You'd better take my advice and leave him alone. Shame, shame, you're a bad boy. The skunk cage is always a center of interest. Well, we're lucky. It's feeding time for the giraffe. Yeah! <laughs> 
<laughs> Listen now, fella. This is the second time I've had to speak to you. Leave that line alone. I'm warning you. I'm a bad boy. And here we come to a family of white rabbits. Of course, you all know how fast they multiply. <laughs> Now, over here in the birdhouse, we find the wise old owl. Who? You. Me? Yes. Ooh. An interesting bird is the South African talking parrot. Polly want a cracker? <clears throat> I said, uh, Polly want a cracker? Nah, give me a short beer. Another interesting bird is the Alcatraz jailbird. I didn't do it, I tell you. Okay, I'm afraid, see? Yeah, I'm innocent. I want to see the DA. They can't do this to me, see? They can't hang this on me. I didn't do it, I tell you. I didn't do it, I tell you. Oh, he did so do it. I saw him with my very own eyes. So there. Over here, we find Mother Ostrich on her nest. have something to crow about. Oh, 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 look out, look out. Well, a jackpot. <laughs> for the last time, you'd better stop annoying that line if you know what's good for you. I'm a bad boy. New to the zoo is an elephant, just in from Africa. Hello, Express Company. This is Joe Jumbo. We'll send it up right away. You know, those guys have had my twunk for a week. And here we have, uh, well, <laughs> these are some things we had left over from that last New Year's party. Pacing back and forth in their cage, we find two restless panthers. Bread and butter, bread and butter, bread and butter, bread and butter. Bread and butter, bread and butter. Well, here we have Jay Wellington Buttonhook. Mr. Buttonhook used to thrill thousands at the circus by putting his head in a lion's mouth. In this cage, we find the Rocky Mountain Wildcat. Hey, bud, hey, hey, just a minute, bud. Tell me, just what made you wild? What made me wild? What made me wild? Well, I'll tell you. They called my name out at bank night, and I wasn't there! Well, I guess that little fellow finally took my advice and went home.
go.
it is amateur night. Next we have... Yeah, she'll be coming round the mountain when she comes along the yard. She'll be coming round the mountain when she... <laughs> Next we have... Yeah, she'll be coming round the mountain when she comes <laughs> Next we have a talented artist, Maestro Padawiski.
Good night. Good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Rarely it is. <laughs> Oh, my darling, my only one. I love you more than anything. <laughs> 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 Oh, Juliet, my love, let me thrill again to the soft, sweet tones of your voice. <laughs> Nobody's too home. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. the house to home. <laughs> I have here a fine assortment of assorted useful, useless utensils. Uh, they are all designed to take the work out of housework. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
We are giving away absolutely free for 25 cents each one. A better beating, beat better, egg beater. <laughs> for dinner, please. A man? Bring him in. Chili, 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 bella, 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 waiting for you. Hmm, kind of cute, don't you think? Or don't you? What you doing here, young man? Now, lady, I have here a marvelous device uh, that you can afford not to afford. <laughs> yeah, it, lady, it's marvelous. It's just too marvelous. <laughs> too marvelous for words. Oh, yes, indeed, ma'am. It's guaranteed yeah, 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 to answer every household need. And it's wonderful. I just can't find the words <laughs> to say enough, <laughs> tell enough, <laughs> to tell you that it's well enough. Uh, it don't cost much. No, 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 no. It really shouldn't squeeze you. <laughs> and you'll find uh, that our payment plan will please you. Hope, 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 hope. <laughs> and so I'm giving you a demonstration free. Yeah, 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 yeah. To show you that it's marvelous, <laughs> too marvelous to be. <laughs> we'll get married right away. Does you all take this man be your wedded husband, or don't you? Oh, this is so sudden. You take this woman to be your wedded wife, or don't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I now sentence you to be man and wife, kiss the bride. That'll be two dollars, please. I hope they all get indigestion. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Oh, who killed? 
all the ball, Dad. Damn precious little honey lane. Willie, you all hand over that book. Ah, Claire to goodness. You is too young to be reading that trash. And besides, if you all try to catch that worm, the old fox will catch you. The fox? What's that, Mammy? Oh, he's this tall, with big, round, green eyes, and a long, pointed nose, and long, sharp teeth. And he just loves to eat little birds, just like you. Now you all shut them big brown eyes and get to sleep. Oh! 
want for breakfast. Not get nosy, bud. <laughs> Would you like to be my girl? <laughs> 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 no, I wouldn't like to be a girl. Vai, vai. 
Vicious Dog. Vicious Dog? Vicious Dog? Wow! <laughs> I seen this done in a feature picture once. Never see you again. <laughs>
just a poor little sick billy goat. Hey, William, this'll fix you up. A sodium acetyl salicylate. Listen to its fizz. It provides immediate relief from hypergasicity, banishes after dinner discomfort and loginess. Say, this tin termite is a nasty. A folk wolf in sheep's clothing. Uncle Dillingham duck. Did I cry spinach when I stood a duck on Plymouth Rock? Did I in Washington give up with their Lymphogen hog? Did Dan O'Boone and me quite quits when engines saved our scalp? Did John Paul Duck give up the ship or ever holler help? Hey, Daffy, Americans don't give up. No, Daffy, Americans that's right. And I'm an American. Duck. Up there in the sky. It's a bird. No, it's a plane. No, it's Super American. saber-toothed tiger. Well, anyway, half a one. Well, this isn't getting me breakfast. Here, Fido.
Now, come on, I'm famished. Well, I'll bet you're cranky before breakfast, too. Be quiet! Yum, yummy. My favorite vegetable, duck. get to do anything. Well, what are you looking at? Don't just stand there. Do something. Now go get it. The big lummox. Well, now isn't that clever? The hunter's helper. <laughs> now come on. for a guy that never took a lesson in his life. <laughs>
wasn't such a hot idea after all. Good night, folks. It's the sign of the old well, Delva. It's the poor what gets the blame, while the rich has all the gravy. Now, ain't that a blanking shame? Put out those lights! Schultz! It will be exactly 6.45 and one quarter. Schultz? Six 6.45 and one quarter. Mm. May I present you with this little token of our esteem? For me? Donkey Shane, Donkey Shane. Oh, uh, just a little going away present. Well, see you around.
Kannst du nicht sein, dieser Telefon ist busy? Bleiben Sie ruhig. Bitte, mein Herr, haben Sie einen Feinfennig-Stick? Dankeschön. It's all yours, Von Limburger. you don't get one cent if you harm any animals, especially wabbits. You're free now with the wabbit. Go and womp and frolic in the forest. Oh boy, I'm witch. Okay, fellas, break it up, break it up. Three million dollars. <sighs> La da da angel in the skies. La da 
good wittance to bad wubbish. Easter greetings. child again, just for tonight. And between these covers, we find these immortal favorites. Sleeping Beauty. Remember the lovely princess who was bewitched into a deep slumber until her Prince Charming came to break the spell? his name because he was no bigger than a man's thumb. Let's pay this interesting family a visit. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Thumb. Where's little Tom? Are you Tom Thumb? Uh, uh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Why, I thought you were no bigger than a man's thumb. How did you get so big? Uh, vitamin B1. <laughs> the Grasshopper and the Ant. The story of the industrious little ant and the lazy grasshopper. cried wolf. Wolf! Wolf! Help! Help the wolf! Wolf! Help! Help! Wolf! 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 wolf. <laughs> what a joy. What a dope. There's a lad who could stand some discipline. What a dope. You'll learn his lesson someday. Jack and the Beanstalk. The story of the boy who climbed a beanstalk only to be met at the top by a ferocious two-headed giant who forced Jack to run for his life. Why did you quit? Uh, he's been sick. The Wolf in Sheep's Clothing, the fifth columnist of his day. By means of a disguise, he preyed upon unsuspecting little sheep. Bum. I 
I'm working this side of the pasture. The Arabian Nights gave us the story of Aladdin and his wonderful lamp. All Aladdin had to do was to rub the lamp and presto, the genie appeared. I dream of genie with the light brown hair. Nasty kid again. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> what a joy. <laughs> hey, young fella. You're going to yell wolf once too often. Hey, go on, go on. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. Can a guy have a little fun? A session in the woodshed wouldn't do that boy any harm. And here's a bird you wouldn't mind having in your own home. A goose that lays golden eggs. Hey, wait a minute. You're supposed to lay golden eggs. Not anymore, brother. I'm doing my bit for national defense. Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to get her poor dog a bone. This little nursery rhyme. This little piggy went for to market. This little piggy has gone for to stay home. This little piggy has have roast beef and smashed potatoes. And this poor little piggy, he don't have anything, all kinds of things to eat. And this little piggy is for to crying like anything. Wee, wee, wee. All the way. For crying out, pizza sack, mother, be careful, my corn! Cinderella and her glass slipper. The little girl Oh! Whoa! Help! Help somebody! Help! Uh-oh. He's at it again. Whoa! Whoa! Help! Help the wolf! I just got there to do ten minutes to catch my plane. Hold everything, Faso! A very important appointment. I'll say you have. My card. 
Yes, sir, Daffy Duck, personal representative of the most sensational discovery since the Sweater Girl. He's colossal, stupendous. One might even go so far as to say he's mediocre. I give you that paragon of pep and personality, Sleepy Lagoon. a packed house. The kid's on. The orchestra gives him a four-bar vamp and the kid gives it to him like this. I'm just wild about Harry and Harry's wild about me. Now the heavenly blisses of his kisses fills me with ecstasy. That's just a rough idea, you understand. He's the sweetest chocolate candy and just like honey from a bee. Oh, I'm just wild about Harry and he wild about cannot do without he is from the south. Can't you hear me shout? Talking with my mouth. Could you ever doubt? He's just wild about me. <laughs> the kid finishes mid thunderous applause. Hooray! Hey! He takes a bow. They're screaming for an encore. Encore! Give us more! We want more! Let's have some more! Give us some more! Give us some more! Give us some more. Ah, but does the kid give him another song? No. He makes with a banjo solo. Like so. Just a minute, Chubby. You ain't seen half of the kids' repertory. Well, here's one the kid does that you like. Woohoo! When she loves him, Nicky Moon above. She is the one that comes to my who can love him. Goodbye, golly, in September and November. Not to mention cold December in the springtime in the summer or when autumn leaves are falling. She will love him. Up on, shake up on, shake up on, shake up on. La la, la 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 la. Woo! Even though you're roaring in my living, laugh, Clara, laugh. <laughs> 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 I'm a cowboy, yes, sir, I am. Yes, sir, I am a cowboy, yes, sir, I am. I'm a cowboy, yes, sir, I am. Yes, sir, I am a cowboy. Yippee! <laughs> Over hill and over dale, we're always on the dusty trail. Hunting fox and hunting quail, tally ho! I am a hunting fool, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. My horse and I are of the finest breed. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Just like the wind, I ride my sword to thee. Sure of foot, sure of eye. Feeling onions make me cry, this makes no sense, so do I. So don't you go and beat me, Daddy to the nearest bar. Yeah! And now the kid goes into his finale. And what a finale! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! All right, let's see what the kid can do. Okay, Sleepy, do your stuff. Let's bring time blast. 
blossoms bloom again in the garden. to plug you, Mr. Duck, but I'm a sportsman. A great, great sportsman. <laughs> a great sportsman, eh? <laughs> sportsman. Listen, sport, you don't know the meaning of fair play. What chance has a poor, helpless, fluffy, little winged creature like me against you? You with your bullets, and your shotgun, and your knife, and your dip call, and your hunting coat, and your hunting dog, and all kind of stuff like that there. What protection have I got? A bulletproof vest, I suppose. <laughs> How does that get there? How would you like to meet me in a fair fight, Mr. Sport? All things being equal, man to man, Marquis of Queensbury rules. Huh? Huh. That's different, eh? Yeah, that's something else again. Yeah, you don't like that, do you, sportsman? No. Yeah. Yeah. You don't like it. Yeah. In that corner. <laughs> In that corner. <laughs> He's a dog. <laughs> you can have him. <laughs> what a tramp. <laughs> That outstanding exponent of clean sportsmanship, the champion of champions, your friend and mine, our own, our beloved Daffy, good to his mother, Duck. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, you mean uh, none of this? Or this? Or like so? Or this? Or this? Or this? Or this? Huh? How about a little of this? Absolutely, uh-uh. You know, there's something awfully screwy about this fight. Or my name isn't Larimore. And it isn't. You got him punchy, champ. He's practically a dead duck already. Now get in there, sight. Go on in there, knock him out. Give it to him, champ. Let him have it, champ. Hmm, getting a little sin on top. How about a little something to stimulate the scalp? Now shake hands. Which hand do you take? Mm, uh, that one. Nope. Wrong. Guess again. All right, all right. I'll take that over there. <laughs> Ain't he a dope? You sure this is the one you want? <laughs> You're right! The right one! And here's round one coming up. One, three, nine, ten, you're out! The winner and new champion, Daffy Duck! Not the one to complain, Mr. Wefferee, but I thought you said no woof stuff. None of this, or this, or this, or like so, or this, or this, or this. That's all, folks. What's the rush? I'm not going to hurt you. Look what I've got for you. Later. Listen, you can have all the cheese you want if you cut the voice. Oh, 
Barnyard some years ago, a seemingly unimportant event occurred which was destined to vitally affect the future of that little world. Mr. and Mrs. Duck were expecting. <laughs> What is lost? What's this, a dark horse? Sing, heil! And so time passed. Hey, bud, not so fast. Oh, all right. But time does fly, don't it, Johnny? <clears throat> time passed. The bad egg grew too much. To duckhood, and with artistic aspirations, dreamed of brush and palette, but ended up with only the brush. They don't know what. Can they see it? <laughs> His artistic efforts spurned. He soon turned to other endeavors. Und vergiss nicht, you dopes! Ich bin der aufgeblasene Fresh in Deutschland, in alle Europa, ja in der ganzen Welt. My mama done told me. Say hail! And there were some gullible ones who listened. Especially one goose. More gullible than gooses. Goose, goose, geese, mice, mice, goose, geese usually go. That's all right. That's all the old stuff, we kiddo. He's a smarter fellow with brains, huh? Like a me. boy, I'm from South Germany. I'm a sick Heiler too. of peace from off this place. Have they forgot tis love that's right and not is gain by show of might? came another partner to make a silly axis of himself. I, a Japanese, a sap a man, sneaking on with a do. Uh, just a Japanese, a sap a man, I'm a little crazy too. Oh, very, very sorry, Freezer. Oh, to apologizing like a dickens. 
Oh, just a minute, please. Oh, I am not a Japanese son of gun. Yeah, and I'm Mock Turtle Soup. With spreading clouds of war, once more the Axis march toward dreams of further Congress. One, two, button of my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, see him over the sticks. Seven, eight, red on the straight. Nine, ten. Begin again. Mercy me, regretful sight. Oh, branch of peace. Forestall this fight. Kind sirs, change your warlike. and say, there's three that didn't get away. Pimento University. Pimento U. Good old P.U. Pimento U, oh sweet P.U. Thy fragrant odor scents the air. A pox on Yale, poo poo Purdue. Pimento U, my college fair. Oh, Out tea. and away, the most popular fellows at, uh... <coughs> Out and away, the most popular fellows at old P.U. are the three Dover boys. Tom, the fun-loving member of the trio. Dick, a serious lad of 18 summers, plus a winter in Florida, as related to the Dover boys in the Everglades. And uh, Larry, the youngest of the three jerks, uh, uh, brothers. A gay outing at the park has been planned by the merry trio, and they are off to fetch their fiancée, dainty Dora Standpipe, at Miss Cheddar's female academy close by. With their usual punctuality, the boys arrive at the pointed hour of three. soon on their rollicking way. Forced to pass a certain public house, a tavern of unsavory repute, 
Our young friends meet the distressing situation with their usual uncompromising moral fortitude. Little do they know that even now, within this very tavern, Dan Backslide, the former sneak of Roquefort Hall, coward, bully, cad, and thief, and arch enemy of the Dover Boys, squanders his misspent life. Hark! The Dover Boys. Dread them. Double dread them. They are escorting Dora Standpipe. Dear rich Dora Standpipe, how I love her! Father's money. Confound those Dover boys! Oh, how I hate them! I hate Tom! I hate Dick! And I hate Larry! They drive me to drink! <laughs> Confound them. <coughs> Let us draw the curtain on this sordid scene and turn to more pleasant surroundings, where we find our young friends engaged in a spirited game of hide, go, and uh, seek. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. No, no! In here! No, up here, up here! No, no, over here, over here! Over here. In here. No, no, in here. Now in here. Over 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 here. Over
Unquote. Signed, Dora. 25 cents collect. Chin held high, the stalwart sons of O.P.U. are here at hand to do or die. P.U. P.U. we're all for you. Yay, boom. Unhand her, Dan Backslide. Unhand her, Dan Backslide. Unhand her, Dan Backslide. Hey, we're getting in a rut. Stand up and fight, you coward, bully, cat, and thief. Oh, you haven't been thrashed enough yet, eh? And now it is time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Interpretation of a familiar fairy tale entitled The Big Bad Wolf and a Tree Little Pigs. Set to the delightful music of Johannes Brahms Hungarian dances. As the scene opens, we find the three little pigs building their respective houses. Thank <laughs> you. 
to the farm and the winner of many blue ribbons. He is trained to perform in every gate. First, let's see you do a trot. Now the gallop. That's fine. Now do a canter. Oh, I'm happy about the whole thing. The way that you walk, the way that you talk. Hey, hey. That's enough of that. Here we find the farmer's faithful old watchdog. Though he is no longer very active, he still does a few little odd jobs around the house. One of his chores is to fetch the newspaper. Oh, there's the paper now. <laughs> I can hardly wait to see what happened to Dick Tracy. Here is a group of cute little piggies playing in the mud. Well, what are they up to? They seem fascinated by that clock. Oh, well. Here's a proud mother hen, carefully watching over her eggs, anxiously awaiting the eventful day. What a happy little family this will be. What's this? A weasel, the ruthless thief of the barnyard, watching his chance to sneak in and steal those defenseless little eggs. He draws closer and closer 
And closer. trees we find many species of bird life. The birds always... Oh, look up there. No, no, over to the left. See? A little owl nestling inside the tree trunk. an interesting sight. A young couple laboriously building their nest with a bit of string from here and a piece of straw from there. A little twig, a bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, a bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, string, straw, string, string, straw, twig, string, straw, twig, string, straw, twig. of the woods, field mice make their home. Here we see one of the most common types. Say, he seems to be a bit worried. Tell me, little fellow, what seems to be troubling you? I don't know, Doc. I... I just keep hearing things. Even the tiniest of insects, such as the ants, have a language all their own. Emerging from the opening comes a female of the species. If you listen very closely, you can hear her calling to her young. Modern farm is conducted on a business like, well, here are those little piggies again. Say, piggies, why don't you go off and play? <coughs> oh, well, suit yourself. Here is one of the strangest friendships that has ever been known. Natural enemies, yet living together as friends. A cat and a mouse. Tell me, is it true that the cat takes good care of you? And keeps you nice and warm? Well, that's truly a friendship. Now, before we leave you, is there anything that you would like to say to your friends in the audience? So, as the day draws to a close, and the sun sinks slowly in the west, we reluctantly take our leave of the farm. Well, the piggies again. Are they going to stay there all night? What in the world can the attraction be?
Good morning. Wake up, everybody. Wake up, everybody. Have you had your tasty toasties this morning? Good for you. And now from... Don't touch that dial. And now for our morning exercises. Open those windows, take a deep breath.
That's all right. That's it. J just my little old heart. Let's join the Army for a day and get a glimpse of military life. Here we are at Fort Nix, typical of the many training camps throughout the country. Yeah, four. <laughs> That's right. Now, do you want to try for the thirty-two dollar question? Well, uh, I don't know. I. Uh... You'll be sorry. Uh, no, no. no uh, I better take the sixteen dollars. I better. Sweet music to the ears of all soldiers is the mess call or come and get it. Appetites appease, the army is ready to carry out the orders of the day. One of the most colorful sights is the well-trained cavalry as it goes through its daily drills. 
Company, attention! Mark tight! Right face! infantry is the backbone of the army. Marching mile after mile is a matter of routine for these hardy foot soldiers. Following close behind, the camouflage troops. The artillery tries out one of its new guns. In contrast to the mechanized equipment used by the soldiers of today, early conscriptees were trained with makeshift substitutes. Here are a few examples. The machine gun unit. Bang! 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 The tank corps. The parachute troops. has proven a vital link in our military chain. During maneuvers, pursuit planes engage each other in aerial games. Here is the anti-aircraft division in the midst of its daily target practice. The largest guns of the Army are those of the Coast Defense. Directions for firing these huge monsters originated Army headquarters, many miles behind the lines. Elevation, 45 degrees. Direction, 30 degrees north by east. Elevation, 45 degrees. Direction, 30 degrees north by east. Elevation, 45 degrees. Direction, 30 degrees north by east. Longitude, 36 degrees. Latitude, 58. Longitude, 36 degrees. Latitude, 58. Longitude, 36 degrees. Latitude, 58. Ready. 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 Fire. Fire. Fire.
Oh, murder. <laughs> Gremlin. <laughs> what a fairy tale. <laughs> Little man, oh brother! <laughs> um, uh, uh, what are the hubbub? Bub. These blockbuster bombs don't go off unless you hit them just right. Yeah? Yeah. George, which way did he go? Mm, that way. Well, gee, thanks a lot, George. Thanks a lot. What's the matter, Bunny Rabbit? Speak to me. Why don't you say something? I'm only three and a half years old. <laughs>
folks. We ran out of gas. Yeah, you know how it is with these A-cards.
would you why you one fourth move out of you and I'll <laughs> Freddy Cat, this is only a tiny little bird. You mean a poor little dinsy wincy itsy bitsy defenseless boy? Yes. Let me at him! Let me at him! I'll get him, baby! Gangway of my lies, hum! Let me at him! Take it easy! Take oh, it easy! Show him! Why is he getting that stuff? Don't hold me back! I'll get him! I'll show him! Come on, quit your fooling. Don't get up that ladder. Push me, Emmett! Push me. Come on, come on. I'm scared to go up high. I get hydrophobia. No, oh, I don't want to come down. Oh, don't come push on. me. Oh, come don't. On. You can't make me do it. You can't make me do it. <laughs> he do it. Come on, stupid. Get the bird. Oh. Give me the bird. Give me the bird. If the haze office would only let me hide. Give him the point, all right. under control. Don't push me down in a box, Babbitt. Please don't do it. Don't do it. Hey, Babbitt. Oh, Babbitt. Babbitt. What's the matter now? I'm afraid of the dark. Well, I'll let you out then. Oh, my God. 
It's no good. Oh, the brakes were against you. I'm a flopperoo. I can't even get the boy. Don't worry. You'll get it, all right. You mean I'll get it in the end? Yeah, and you'll get a big bang out of it, too. Well, that sure takes a load off of my mind. What's the matter with you? Aren't you ashamed? I don't know. Why do you do these things? I'm a bad pussycat. Oh, I just can't seem to get the boy. Ain't no use. Don't worry. I can't do it. This'll get you up there. Contact. 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 Contact.
boom, 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 boom. If the rhythm's been too dreamy, if the rhythm's been too dreamy, and you like your trumpet screaming, and you like your trumpet screaming, that's when you should call to see me, 'cause I've got swing to sail. If you think a waltz is horrid and you like your rhythm torrid, tell it makes you mop your forehead. I've got swing to sail. Rhythm's what this country needs. For years and years I've said it. If you buy from me, it's COD. I sell swing, but not for credit. Boom, 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 boom.
war is reaching out and closing in on you, you screwy wabbit. <laughs> Unbecoming to a wabbit. Nice looking chap, though. Violating traffic regulations. And shut Why, look at you. You call yourself a Maori. You're a disgrace to the regiment. I'm gonna drum you out of the service. <laughs> Last one in to rock me. 
Low bridge. I live here. That's my home. Such as it is. <laughs> Do I go around the island signs over your house? Do I? There's still such a thing as private property, you know. Jimmy here at the inalienable right of the sanctity of the home. Forgive me, my friend. Uh, do you like blackberry pie? Uh, no, no. Uh, did you say blackberry pie? Yum, yummy. We'll have some! <laughs> what a dumb bunny! <laughs> of course you realize this means war. I will press the gadget, uh, press the get, press the target, uh, pr uh, pull a live rabbit. Yes. <laughs> Ruta, vuta, zut, and observe a rabbit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Assist you, sir. 
I shall now attempt to run razor sharp swords through the basket. There's nothing for to fear. It's a trick. The swords do not penetrate. No. Nourish 
I'm really hungry. Oh, for a loaf of bread. A jug of wine. And thou. Ooh, food. Food. Oh, boy. Look at that T-bone steak. Yum, yum. Hand sandwich. Ouch! Is it food? Food! 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 Beans, beans, beans! Nothing but beans. I'm sick of beans. Beans for breakfast, beans for lunch, beans for dinner. Always it's beans. Boy, what I could do to a nice juicy steak, or a slice of baked ham, or some roast duck. Roast duck, that's it. Oh, for that foul taste in my mouth once again. out of the cold. You must be hungry. Why, you're just skin and bones. But we'll fix that. There's nothing we'd like better than a nice duck for dinner. Is there, Abigail? Name your poison, kid. Uh, uh, what would you like to have to eat? Some soup or consomme. Our chowder's good today. A T-bone bordelais. What is your order? You love our new green peas. Our shrimp and cheddar cheese. And cherry if you please. A dear border. To try our bologna. A slice of salami. Some vitamins A, B. Just place your order. We have a candy yam. A moving picture ham. Our short ribs of spring lamb. Our shorter. Our buttered buns we boast. To try Try our free French toast and orange sherbet roast. Give us your order. And with that tucked away, you'll know that that ain't hay. Hey. That ain't hay, hey, brother. Oh, that's all. Ooh la la la. Ooh la la la. Ooh la la la. Ooh la la la. And now for our dessert. Uh oh. Now, fellas, wait a minute. Not that. You don't want to eat me. I I'm not a duck anyway. I'm a pigeon. I'm a hummingbird. Listen. <laughs> Fourth floor, clocks, locks, socks, smocks, and lingerie. Listen, can't we settle this amicably? Shining bright down in Rio de Janeiro. Boom, chi boom, boom, chi boom, ah, chi boom, boom, chi boom, 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 boom. See, see, I like the South American way, and I do mean South. <laughs>
fine pigeon. I'm going to pick you dry. one of the country's most interesting zoos. Here we find the wolf in his natural setting. Next, a pack of camels. A North American greyhound. Here, two bucks and five cents. And here, two friendly elves. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. No zoo would be complete without a monkey cage. <laughs> nature's own weatherman, the little groundhog, and his shackle. Over here, we find... <laughs> hey, uh, hey, hey, don't annoy that sign. It's dangerous. Can't you read that sign? You'd better take my advice and leave him alone. Shame, shame. You're a bad boy. The skunk cage is always a center of interest. Well, we're lucky. It's feeding time for the giraffe. Listen now, fella. This is the second time I've had to speak to you. Leave that line alone. I'm warning you. I'm a bad boy. And here we come to a family of white rabbits. Of course, you all know how fast they multiply. <laughs> Now, over here in the birdhouse, we find the wise old owl. Who? You. Me? Yes. Ooh. 
An interesting bird is the South African talking parrot. Polly want a cracker? <clears throat> I said, uh, Polly want a cracker? Nah, give me a short beer. Another interesting bird is the Alcatraz jailbird. I didn't do it, I tell you. Okay, I'm afraid, see? Yeah, I'm innocent. I want to see the DA. They can't do this to me, see? They can't hang this on me. I didn't do it, I tell you. I didn't do it, I tell you. Oh, he did so do it. I saw him with my very own eyes. So there. Over here, we find Mother Ostrich on her nest. Well, you do have something to crow about. Oh, 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 look out, look out. Well, a jackpot. For the last time, you'd better stop annoying that line if you know what's good for you. I'm a bad boy. New to the zoo is an elephant just in from Africa. Hello. Express Company, this is Joe Jumbo. We'll send it up right away. You know, those guys have had my trunk for a week. And here we have... Uh, well, <laughs> these are some things we had left over from that last New Year's party. Pacing back and forth in their cage, we find two restless panthers. Bread and butter, 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 bread and butter. Well, here we have J. Wellington Buttonhook. Mr. Buttonhook used to thrill thousands at the circus by putting his head in a lion's mouth. In this cage, we find the Rocky Mountain Wildcat. Hey, bud, hey, hey, just a minute, bud. Tell me, just what made you wild? What made me wild? What made me wild? Well, I'll tell you. They called my name out at bank night, and I wasn't there! Well, I guess that little fellow finally took my advice and went home.
tonight is amateur night. Next we have... Yeah, she'll be coming round the mountain when she comes to Lardy. Ah, oh, she'll be coming round the mountain when she... <laughs> Next we have... Yeah, she'll be coming round the mountain when she comes <laughs> Next we have a talented artist, Maestro Pada Whiskey. <laughs> Here, my love, 
in the bushes at the bottom of the garden. Good night, good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Rarely it is. <laughs> Oh, my darling, my only one. I love you more than anything. <laughs> this is killing me. <laughs> Juliet, my love, let me thrill again to the soft, sweet tones of your voice. <laughs> and now, folks. Hear me coming round the mountain when she comes. Hear me coming round the mountain. And now, folks, let's see who wins the cup. Thank you. 
sweet lady of the house to home. <laughs> I have here a fine assortment of assorted useful, useless utensils. Uh, they are all designed to take the work out of housework. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are giving away absolutely free for 25 sets each one. A better beating, beat better, egg beater. <laughs> Having a salesman for dinner, please. A man? Bring him in. household need and it's wonderful I just can't find the words <laughs> to say enough <laughs> tell enough <laughs> to tell you that it's well enough uh, it don't cost much no 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 it really shouldn't squeeze you <laughs> and you'll find uh, that our payment plan will please you Hope, 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 hope. <laughs> and so I'm giving you a demonstration free yeah, 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 to show you that it's marvelous, <laughs> too marvelous to be. <laughs> we'll get married right away. Does you all take this man be your wedded husband, or don't you? Oh, this is so sudden. You take this woman to be your wedded wife? Or don't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I now sentence you to be man and wife, kiss the bride. That'll be two dollars, please. I hope they all get indigestion. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope.
Get nosy, bud.
I've lost you, Daisy, and I'll never see you again. <laughs> Daisy! Oh, my Daisy, what have they done to you? What have they done to you? They changed you.